Hi, thanks for joining me again. You can see in front of you the Australian dollar currency futures versus the US dollar. I thought this week we might run through how to read the chart bar by bar as the story unfolds in front of us. You can see price has been in some sort of accumulation zone down here and has broken out above both levels here. And then after a brief test of the breakout, that's testing the strength of the breakout, price has then accelerated higher before a little consolidation period occurred here. Whenever price makes considerable ground higher, it'll always draw out some supply. There'll be some testing along the way, but there'll be a period where sufficient supply is being drawn out that the market needs to consolidate for a period. The deeper the consolidation and the longer it takes, the more the supply has been drawn out. So you can see here it was a fairly brief and reasonably shallow consolidation period. So price remained relatively strong here. And you can see it broke out above this level here. And overall, price has accelerated up a second time. And you can see price has then gone through another little period of consolidation. But this consolidation is certainly deeper and more prolonged than this consolidation was. So you can see a little more supply has been drawn out and you can see the thrust has shortened. Price made more ground on this leg higher than it did on this leg higher. So the thrust higher is shortened. The market's getting a little weaker. It's put a lot of effort in to push out of this consolidation, absorption, accumulation zone down here. And you can see by the amount of consolidation after each thrust that there is a little bit of supply being drawn out. The market has to work a little harder to absorb that supply to keep pushing higher. But you can see there's a little gap out here as price leaps over where the expected resistance would be and continues higher again. We've moved up to here. Now, this bar is quite a strong bar. It's closed above the previous two bars highs. That's always a positive. Um, down here, volume was quite strong. That also suggests that this bar, where volume was also quite strong, although it did close below the previous bar's low, has formed some sort of reversal. So we'll clear that off and go ahead one bar. Now on this bar, you can see that spreads narrowed compared to the previous bar, but volume was higher down here. Volume's higher, spreads narrowed, and the price is closed off its high for the day. There's supply being drawn out on this bar. Whether it's damaging supply or not, you'll just have to wait and watch for the response to see how bad it was or whether price will just continue to accelerate higher. But you can tell for sure, spreads narrowed, closed off the highs, volume has increased, so more effort was being put in. That's the volume down here. More effort was put in, but spread narrowed and price closed off its high. So you have to say that some supply was being drawn out there. You'll only see from the response over the next day or so whether that really was damaging supply or whether the market's happy to absorb that supply. We'll go ahead, another bar. Price has come back. It's traded for a period below the previous bar's low, 
they close back within the bar's range, volume has dropped to average. So that suggests that the market wasn't too concerned. It's tested below the previous bar's low and recovered back above it. So at this stage, although you have got supply coming in, so far it hasn't been too damaging or overwhelming. We'll go ahead another bar. Now you've had a second bar where price is attempting to absorb supply. Volume is back above average, so there's supply coming in on this bar, an attempt to support the market, an absorption type bar, but you've had three bars now where the market hasn't been able to recover and supply is being drawn out. You'd have to expect now that the market is a little vulnerable. It's attempting to absorb the supply, and that's why price has remained above the previous bar's low. The previous bar's low is here. But the volume shows you that supply is being drawn out. And there was an attempt to rally because here's the previous bar's close. And this part here was price attempting to rally, but eventually it actually closed as a down bar slightly below the previous bar's close. There's still supply in the market. We'll go ahead one more bar. And price has responded to that supply by closing lower. Now, it did close well off its lows. Volume has reduced somewhat. So there's still an attempt to support the market in here, but there's no doubt that supply continues to be drawn out. The market is attempting to absorb it. The fact that price closed off its low here shows you that the market is attempting to absorb it. I had one more bar. And there's due response. There was an attempt to absorb the market supply here and prices pushed higher. Now volume is actually lower than previously, so you might think that there was a bit of lack of demand in that, but because the spread was average or even a fraction above average, even though you've got supply coming in here, you wouldn't really say that was no demand. There may have been a lack of demand in the market, but the fact price pushed up with a reasonable spread suggests that selling pressure eased for whatever reason. The lack of selling pressure in the market allowed price to push up with a spread that was average or a fraction wider than average on reduced but still about average volume. We'll go ahead another bar. Price has come back with a reduced spread and about the same volume. This is like an attempt to test, and it didn't draw out much supply, so you wouldn't be too concerned at that point. That supply, although you've seen supply up here, you've had an attempt to support the market, and this response higher shows you that there was buying in this proportion of the bar. And now a little test, what will the market do in response? It pushes higher again. It did once again close off its highs to some degree, not too badly, not mid bar, but still off its highs a little. Volume was once again about average. You can see now that price is starting to come back to where the supply initially was drawn out. So we'll see how the market contends with this. Can it continue to push higher and really rock it back out again like it's done previously? Or is the market now drawing out supply and it's becoming a problem, becoming an issue? You remember that back here, there was only a very small period of consolidation. Here was a larger period of consolidation. So you knew that the market was fine to get a little difficult to continue higher. And now we've got what appears to be a little bit of difficulty emerging.
we'll see how it pans out. We'll go ahead another bar. Price has closed below the previous bar's low. In fact, it's closed below the previous three bars low. So that's weakness coming in. The volume was a little above average, which you would expect with a bar with increased spread, you'd expect increased volume. Volume and spread generally goes hand in hand. So if you find an anomaly, that's when you want to sit up and take notice. So if you see a narrow spread and high volume, that's when you want to sit up and take notice and work out what's going on. It may take you to look at the response to understand what's going on, but you'll generally be a bar behind. That's not unusual. So the market has come back with an increased spread and increased volume. And now price is back where the market found a little support previously. Remember, we saw that there was probably buying in this part of the bar. Now that's where the market is now trading. So we'll see how it responds this time. Another attempt to support the market. You can see spread has narrowed, volume has increased. The close is mid bar and about adjacent with the previous close here. There was probably a little attempt for price to move higher, but the close was neutral level with the previous bar. That's an attempt to support the market. Whether it will be successful or not, we'll just have to wait and see. An up bar would probably say that there was definitely buying in there and the attempt to support the market is on. And if you get a down bar in response, it's a failure. And if it closed below the low of this bar, you'd really be getting a little concerned that the market is going to break down. We'll go ahead another bar. And you've got a little up bar on reduced volume. This bar, although it gapped, it has, it looks more like that. You always picture that little gap being filled. That's what the bar really looks like. So once again, it wasn't really no demand. Volume was below average. So there wasn't a huge amount of demand there, but a lack of selling pressure probably allowed the price to move higher, similar to this bar, where a lack of selling pressure allowed the price to move higher on reduced volume was this one, I think. So once again, the market's attempting to support. You can see prices remained above the previous two down bars lows. Let's see if it can respond higher this time and perhaps move above this high. And then we'll say that this consolidation may have been successful. We'll go ahead, another bar. Okay, what do you think of that bar? Reduced spread, reduced volume, closing in the bottom half of the bar. Now let's just clear that and have a look at this. You see here, price has accelerated up. It's come back. It's pushed up a second time, it's come back. Now it's pushing up a third time. It's beginning to look weak. You can see there's been three pushes higher. If price continues higher here and accelerates away, well, that's okay. But if price breaks down now, we'd have to get a little concerned. There has been an attempt to support the market down here. So, we just have to see what's going on, but you've had three thrusts higher. Well, the, the second two have been lower than the previous. Price is looking a little vulnerable. We'll go ahead a bar. There's a down bar in response, although a narrow spread down bar. Well, certainly not a widespread down bar like this bar. It's like a a test, small increase in volume. You'd still be questioning this market. 
three thrust higher, prices attempting to consolidate and absorb the supply being drawn out. I'm not sure that it's going to be successful, but you wouldn't know at the time, you'd have to wait and see. It's a secondary attempt to support the market. Price has closed below the previous bar's low, but only a little, not clearly. Volume has increased. So there is still supply present, there's no doubt. The market is attempting to support it in this sort of zone. We'll go ahead another bar. The market's not about to give up easily, is it? You often find this too with currencies because there's two sides to the bargain. You've got the Australian dollar side and you've got the US dollar side. And for a reasonable movement, you need them both to be working with you. So you need the Australian dollar to be strong and the US dollar to be weak to get good upward movement and vice versa. And if they're both moving in opposite directions, you get these neutral bars that don't really do much. They don't really tell much of a story. You just have to let that go and look at the next bar, look at the response each time as the story unfolds. But we can see now we've got some supply coming in. We've got a much longer period of consolidation compared to the previous two consolidations. It's not necessarily so deep. It is reasonably shallow considering but it's going on for a long time. The duration is causing an issue at the moment. The most recent bar had increased spread on average volume. It hasn't been able to get above the previous up bars close. So it's not necessarily strong, but the market is attempting to absorb the supply. Now you've had a down bar in response with increased spread, quite high volume actually. And it's adjacent to the last gasp support over here. Whenever you get volume that's a little bit too high, you can see down here that the volume is higher than almost all the bars for a couple of weeks or more. This is when I often mention about excessive supply. Was there actually buying in here? You don't know until you see the response, but whenever you see excessive volume and not just slightly above average volume, you always need to wonder whether there's actually some hidden support in the bottom of the bar. You won't know until you see the response. Sometimes the response may take a day or two. You'll have to wait and see. So you've got a down bar. It's closed below the previous two bars lows. That's generally a bit negative. We have a question about the quite high volume, whether there was some hidden support in there. Go ahead a bar. Now you've got a shakeout type bar here. Prices traded well below the previous bar's low, and that's where we have had previous support. And maybe even a little bit of over-enthusiasm has allowed price to close actually as an up bar. So it's a shakeout. On a smaller time frame, you would have seen this as a shakeout and then a response higher. You would have seen price shakeout and then price push higher in response. So this is another attempt to support the market, no doubt. And the shakeout is a sign of strength. So we'll see what the response is. The response is a narrow spread down bar, still on very high volume. So we still question, there may have been a little hidden support in this bar on the increase in volume. We've got a shakeout 
and a little in, over enthusiasm in the market, once again on high volume. And now we've got a narrow spread or a reduced spread down bar on still quite high volume. At least this part of the trading is quite positive. It's a shakeout and a push higher on top and a narrow spread down bar. But there's no trigger to buy this market yet. All you can do is watch at this point or trade intraday. We'll go ahead another bar. This is a little test bar. Quite a good looking little test bar. Volume reduced considerably. It's not particularly low, but it's reduced over the previous three bars volumes. So you've had potential buying in here and little test bar that suggests that supply is at least reducing. We'll go ahead another bar. And this looks more like a potential shakeout. You won't know until you see the response. It's not a very clear shakeout. You'd normally expect a shakeout to close like this, or at least in the top half of the bar. Volume increased, but it's not excessive. It's just a little above average. And if we've correctly identified some support here, and then a test, then this may be a shakeout. But at the, at the time, you won't know. You just have to follow along and keep the story in mind and wonder whether what you're thinking is correct. You'll soon find out. The response will tell you. It always does. So at this, this point, there may be buying in here. There's a nice test with a narrow spread to say that supply is reducing. Now you've got a shakeout and a test and a shakeout often equals a breakout. So let's wait and see. We'll go ahead one bar. You've got a little narrow spread up bar. Now this bar has a little gap in it. So it actually looks like that. It's a narrow spread up bar with low volume. Now the low volume is telling you that selling pressure was low, but there was a lack of demand in the market. But the fact that it was an up bar in response to this bar on higher volume that pushed down, especially when we're thinking that there may be some support here, some buying, this up bar is effectively confirming that this was more than likely a shakeout or an attempted shakeout. If you put those two bars together, you're going to form some sort of shakeout. So let's go ahead and see. We'll soon find out whether we're reading the chart correctly or not. You've got another down bar, but this time on lower volume and way below average volume down here. The volume is much below average. So we've got a shakeout, some form of confirmation of the buying in the shakeout. Now you've got a down bar that is on reduced volume. You'd have to wonder whether this is signaling that the sellers in the market are really getting thin. They're becoming exhausted. And if price could push higher, they probably wouldn't be able to respond against it. In fact, some people would have a, a trading plan after a test, a shakeout, and a secondary push lower that's confirming that the sellers are thin on the ground. They would buy price 
once it went above this line here, which is really effectively the two closes, the two clusters of the closes here. And if price moved, as price moved above that line, you could buy that market. Price does move above that line on a very slight increase in volume, which is quite good. It's still below average volume. That's confirming or helping to confirm that selling pressure remains low. The fact that price could push up with increased spread like that and close above the line we've drawn would suggest that selling pressure is low and that allowed price to close high on the bar. You can see the bar is standing tall and proud. That's a nice little breakout bar above this little mini zone. Let's see if we get an up bar in response to confirm. And we do. Got a little gap. So it really looks like this. So here's a level we were watching. We think that there was good support here, here, a test, and a shakeout equals a breakout. Well, not always, but regularly, often in futures markets, that's the case. They're very liquid markets, highly traded by professionals. So the indications are often quite strong. And you may well have bought this bar you still have your stop down at a lower level at the moment, but you could well be in the market. Go ahead of bar. You've got another up bar. Spread's narrowed, but you wouldn't be too concerned about this at this point because volume was also low. Spread and volume generally go hand in hand. So you weren't expecting a great wide spread because volume was low. Remember this bar looks like this. This bar's got a fractionally. So the market really looks like that. So you'd remain in your trade and be reasonably comfortable at this point. Go ahead, another bar. We've got a little down bar, very narrow spread, a slight increase in volume. It's a, an attempt to test. It's not a very clear test. It's not a very good test, but it's um, not damaging at all. The close is well within the previous bar's spread or range. So it was an attempt to test, but perhaps not a very clear one. We'll go ahead another bar, another little up bar. Demand wasn't particularly strong here. You can see the volume was very low. You traded as an up bar for the whole period of the bar. It's not perhaps telling you very much. There's no supply coming in. If that was high volume, you'd be concerned because a narrow spread like that on average or higher volume would suggest that selling pressure would come in. But with relatively low volume, you would expect a relatively narrow spread. The close in the middle is a minor concern, but at this point, nothing too much of an issue. We'll go ahead another bar. Now you've got a much clearer test bar. A test is defined as a narrow spread down bar closing mid to high on low volume. And that's pretty much exactly what you've got here. You would generally expect price to respond to that sort of bar, to respond higher, to confirm the test, make it, can make it considered successful. We'll go ahead. Now you've got an up bar that's closed well off its high. In the bottom half of the bar, volume is very high. Supplies come in. 
possibly from stale holders over here. People who were buying over here, it's human nature to hold on and not take a loss. And they'll say to themselves, when price comes back to this level again, I'm selling out for break even. And that can sometimes cause a bar like this. Now we'll just have to see what the response is here. If you are still in your position from here, you may choose to rule the line here and put your stop somewhere down here below it and say, if price responds lower to this bar, I'll get out and then look for another entry. So you probably have a line somewhere here. You may choose to put it at the low of this bar, but that's your own choice. We'll go ahead of bar. Price did trade lower. On reduced volume and close back in the top half of the bar. If we put our line there again, if you're in this trade here, you'd keep your stop, I think, just below this line somewhere. You can tighten it right up if you needed to. If price continues lower from here, you wouldn't want to be in the trade anymore anyway. You can see that. The market is attempting to absorb the supply that's most likely coming in from over here. And so far you have two down bars with no response to the downside. We'll see how this one responds. We'll go ahead a bar. You've got another up bar. This is looking like bullish absorption. Can you see that? Here you've got a slight pressing nature to the upside. You've got clustering of closes at similar levels. And you've got down bars that appear to be threatening, but each time there's no downside follow through. Instead, price pushes higher each time. If you were holding this trade, yes, you would have your stop below this line. You may even give it a little bit more room to breathe if you wanted, because it's looking more like the market is attempting to absorb supply and doing a pretty good job of it at this point. We'll go ahead another bar. There's been a strong response higher. Price has closed above this previous high. Just mark how we had it before. You can see this is a good acceleration higher. Volume is not excessive. It's above average, but it matches the spread fairly well, how you would expect. This is a strong push higher. It's closed up near its high, not really off its high too badly. Looks all right. Next bar. And you should be able to see this straight away. Spreads narrowed compared to the previous bar on slightly higher volume than the previous bar. So a little supply is being drawn out. When supply is drawn out, the market generally has to absorb it or it becomes overwhelming and price pushes lower. Let's see how the market contends with the supply that has most likely been drawn out. It tests, which is exactly what you'd like to see. Price traded easily within the range of the previous bar. It's a narrow spread down bar, closing mid to high. Not really on lower volume, but reduced volume. We we'll just have to see how price negotiates this. It may be that a secondary test is required, but the narrow spread 
is telling you that the market was actively absorbing supply. If not, the spread would have been wider. And price is comfortably within the top half of this up bar. So there's a strong attempt by the market to push higher, and there may even be a little bit of buying in that bar. Um, that's the that was last night's bar. I've got the US dollar index chart up. You can see last night's bar in the US dollar index was a weak rise higher on below average volume. And you've got three down bars in response. There must have been some selling here and there must have been some selling here. There's a reasonable chance that price will test this low and maybe even push lower. And if that's the case, you'd expect the Aussie dollar to do the inverse and push higher in response. You just have to wait and see because things have to go well on both sides for the market to really move. As I said earlier, if one side is strong and the other side is weak, it becomes neutral and price sort of dances in one position and doesn't do much at all. And you might get a delayed reaction before price actually moves as you expect. That's what you have to deal with if you're trading currency futures. You've got both sides to monitor. But hopefully you can see what I was getting at here. You can see a little bit of potential support coming in here, a test, a shakeout. This is a secondary test of the shakeout. And you'll see that the shakeout's volume here was much higher than when price came back a second time and suggested that the sellers were getting close to being exhausted. You could have bought this bar as it moved above this level remained in your trade as price went into some bullish absorption, pressing nature to the upside, clustering of closes, threatening down bars that see no downside follow through. And then you see price accelerate higher again, a little bit of supply possibly coming in, a test, we'll see if the response is positive. Okay, that's my lot. Hopefully that's interesting to you. Let me know in the comments if it is. Thanks again. See ya.